Brad with Rotoheat and RookieDraftGuide.com. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, do it. If you are, thank you. Let's hit a like. Let's get to 200 likes on this video. And don't forget to check out RookieDraftGuide.com. Bateman, wide receiver from Minnesota, originally was from Tipton County High School in Tipton, Georgia, was actually ranked 367 nationally when he accepted a scholarship to Minnesota. Uh, he came in as a four-star prospect and, and really produced quite well. You know, obviously, Minnesota's seen a lot of change over the years, and, and now with P.J. Fleck and his staff there, uh, things are looking like they're moving in the right direction. And you see that. You know, in 2019, Bateman had an explosive campaign, but uh, finishing with 60 receptions for 1,219 yards and 11 touchdowns. That's 20.3 yards per catch. Wow. That's, that's solid. That's very good. Uh, first career, though, not terribly bad. You know, obviously 2018 and 2020, uh, you know, he's a freshman. 2018 and then 2020, he had only five games. So things looked a lot different uh, for, for the talented receiver. But overall, for his career, 147 receptions, 2,395 yards, 19 touchdowns. That's 16.3 yards per catch. Uh, obviously, we've seen with just that, that sample size, even if you haven't watched tape at all and you just kind of look at the numbers, you know, you notice that that he's getting uh, the the kind of the moniker as a big play guy. And obviously, at at six two ish, two ten, he's got the size to 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 play outside. He's got the big play ability to kind of be moved all over the field. But there's a lot to like about Bateman. And and just looking at the college tape, there's a lot to like about what we saw, especially in 2019 from Bateman. You saw some of of his best game film. You know, think about. Uh, some of his games, especially against like Penn State, uh, we've also seen some of his worst. Think about Auburn uh, in 2019. Bateman definitely is going to be drafted early, probably a day two pick, most likely. Uh, obviously, 2020 with the COVID situation kind of shortened his season and only gave him five games of tape for this year. But 2019 really gave us uh, a perfect picture of who Rashad Bateman is as a wide receiver. Uh, he is very solid route runner. Um, with Minnesota, you saw them do a lot of RPOs, a lot of run pass option stuff, and he does a good job finding his quarterback, following his quarterback if the play breaks down. Um, he's got enough uh, dog in him to, to be willing to be physical, you know, whether it's blocking or just being physical at the point of the catch, physical with the corners, getting off in his release. Um, you put all that together, you really see a wide receiver that is – Kind of under the radar right now. Obviously, everybody knows about the, the big names, the Jamar Chases and Waddles and Smiths of the world, but Bateman's kind of in that next tier of receiver that should be a very early pick in your rookie draft. Should be, you know, uh, depending on your league type, probably late first uh, rookie pick, probably late first, early second at the latest. Latest. The team is, is when we look at how the team feels about him, the team feels pretty high about him. You know, you have to go to rookiedraftguide.com to find out exactly where we have him and what our ratings and, and the team's comments are. But when I put these together, I go through each and every each and every uh, evaluator's information and I compile it all together. And, and the takeaway I have from them is great hands, great route runner. Need some time to get up to speed, a bit more of a, a big yak guy and, and, a, and a big play guy, but he has to get some time to build up to that. Saw that in a couple comments. I'm excited about Bateman's prospects when you move to the NFL level. I really think, personal opinion, you could see a Justin Jefferson type thing where he's not one of the top receivers taken, but he has a big, you know, first or second season and really shows you uh, that he is a force. You know, he may not be the the number one receiver on a team, uh, but he. You know, much like a like a Corey Davis type role, if he's paired with another nice receiver, you know, just like we saw with a Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen, he can really be successful. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of good things out of him. He's got good size and speed combination that a quarterback is going to love throwing him. He's got a fairly large catch radius and, and isn't afraid to to go up and attack the ball. Um, there's a lot to like about about his game film on RookieDraftGuide.com. We put our film on there, some of the stuff that we saw and what we were watching when we evaluated him. There's a lot to like about him. You know, his catch radius is significant, and and it's very significant. I mean, he's going to be a quarterback friendly receiver because of how he goes after the ball. So, ultimately, 
The team is very excited about how Rashad Bateman projects in the NFL. We think he's going to be a solid option for fantasy, for NFL purposes. Uh, and what do you think? Do you think he's one of the top three wide receivers in this class? Make sure you comment below. I've asked you about that already. Uh, we've got a lot more players coming. Bateman is one of many, and the team's working hard at, at evaluating and working hard at putting all this content together for you for, for Roto Heat, for RookieDraftGuide.com. Um, we thank you guys for, for watching these videos and liking and commenting and doing all the things. We want to remember, Facebook, we've got a community that's growing each and every day. I see multiple people asking to be part of the community. Uh, on Discord, we see many, many people joining the community each and every day. This is growing. We are growing leaps and bounds, and we're working hard to give you guys as much content, as up-to-date as humanly possible. RookieDraftGuide.com will not just be updated once. It will be updated throughout the offseason as we get to the combine, as we get to pro days. If things change and our evaluators make changes, you will see those changes in real time. We are here to help. Don't forget to let us know what you think about them in the comments below. And we'll talk to you guys again next time.